What's going on, everybody? Uh, I thought I'd turn the camera angle a little bit. A lot of people like the scenery behind me. Uh, maybe a lot of people don't live in a mountainous region or the country or something like that, but I get a, a lot of comments on how, how beautiful the scenery is. So I thought I'd turn the camera a little bit, show you a side shot of the truck and some of the scenery behind me. But what this video is gonna be about is the top five Tundra mods under $500 maybe a couple honorable mentions uh i've got a couple one of them is if you off-road i could see where it could be a big deal so i'm throwing in two honorable mentions just because of that okay so let's get started we're going to start at number five and that would be the smb intake now the smb intake will run you right around 300 dollars so it's well under the 500 dollar range uh, I do like the SMB intake better than the TRD one. I think the TRD one looks cool, uh, but you really don't get that much more uh, for what you're paying for. It's even more expensive than the SMB. The SMB is a whole lot louder. Um, you get a lot more airflow through there and stuff like that. And I just think that you just get more for your money through the SMB and it looks really cool to boot. Um, you have that big plexiglass top on it and stuff like that, uh, which just really makes it look cool. And you only have one option with the TRD, and that's an old filter. Uh, with the SMB, you can get old or dry filters. Uh, I do have some video shot where I did install a dry filter on my truck. I did a lot of testing on it. The dry filter is actually still on my truck right now. Um, so I have run both filters, the dry and the wet. And, uh, I can give my opinion on that in a later video. I've, I've been meaning to put that video up, but I do have uh, both filters in my possession and the dry one is currently on it at this moment. I do think that's a good thing. A lot of people don't like running uh, the wet old filter like the k &N style filter on their trucks and cars and stuff like that, especially if you have like a turboed vehicle or something, a lot of people don't like to do that. Um, not that this truck is turboed, but I was just throwing it out there. A lot of people uh, think they don't filter enough or you can get oil on your mass airflow sensor or something like that and cause that to mess up. So I do just want to say that the s &B does give you the option to go either way. And that is why it's number five on the list. I don't think you gain enough to be higher than that, but it's pretty cool and it's extremely loud. So number four. And number four is the color matched mirror caps and door handles um now you can get those at sparks parts again if you use get discount code gear runner at sparks parts it saves you five percent off your entire order no matter what you order if you order a magnus and supercharger for your truck you can still save five percent off that with discount code gear runner and uh, that's where i ordered my mirror caps and door handles and i do want to say if you mess up a mirror cap you can just order one i've messed up this one twice now this is my third mirror cap now that's no fault to the mirror cap. Um, something hit it, caused the paint to start chipping. I could have just had it repainted, but it was just easier for me just to order a new one. Uh, probably didn't even cost that much more uh, to get one color matched and sent to me. I can't remember what one cost, but if you just need one of these, uh, you can just order one. But if you order them through Sparks Parts, uh, they're $327.26 for the whole set. That's mirror caps and all four door handles. It's really easy to install. I actually did an install video of this, but I don't think I did an install video of the door handles because I don't think I had a YouTube channel whenever I started those, but they're very, very easy to install. And uh, I just think it gets rid of that chrome. Now, if you have the black textured one, you can still get them to match your truck. I still think it looks better than the black texture to uh, color match the entire truck. But if you do have the chrome ones on both those like I did, get rid of that chrome unless you're just a huge chrome fan, which I don't know a lot of people that are, but um, for $327, you can match your truck. Number three. And number three is the NFAB podium side steps. I think these side steps are really sporty looking. I've had a lot of people say after seeing my truck that they went and bought these. Um, I actually had somebody walk up to me the other day and I dropped something off. I forget what it was. I'd sold something to somebody or something and I'd went and uh, dropped it off to them and they'd seen my truck and they never even mentioned that. They never even mentioned liking them and they walked back up to me at work the other day and they was like, oh, I, I went out and bought a set of those in five podiums after seeing yours because I like them so well. Now I did have side steps on this truck. 
the factory side steps may be a little more functional, but these look way, way better. I don't have a problem with these. These have the wider steps on them. So in the winter time, you don't have the issue with them icing over as bad and slipping out. You know, some NFABs have that little bitty step and those things can get iced over. You can about kill yourself on those. But I don't have that issue because these have the big step. And that's actually why I went with that. And that's why I recommend these. And I've had zero issues with them. And I love them. And I think they look great. And that's why they're number three on the list. Number two. And number two is the under seat storage lockable. Now, if you watch the other video of under $200, um, I mentioned the under seat storage, which is just the plastic with the open bins. Um, not a huge, huge fan of that one. Uh, again, I said in that video, uh, that might be a hint of things to come. Uh, I am a bigger fan of the lockable ones and uh, there might be a video of that coming up pretty soon. Hint. <laughs> but, Anyway, I do like the lockable ones a lot better. They are metal. They go underneath the seat brackets. They lock down. You know, you can't get in them. All your stuff you put in them, no matter what you put in there, whether it's EDC, you can put money in there, whatever you want to put. It's all lockable. It's safe underneath that. And again, the Tundra should have came with under seat storage if they were going to put that big hump back there. Now, I would have been fine if they wouldn't put the hump back there. I could have saved myself quite a bit of money. But since it didn't, you have to improvise and uh, it does cost you a little bit. And how much does that cost you? It cost you $449.95. Just a little bit under that $500 threshold. And I got that at Sparks Parts. Again, use discount code GearRunner. You can save 5% off that $450, which makes it a little bit better. Shipping is a little bit expensive too on something that big. Just warning you in case you want to do it. But, um, I like that a whole lot better than the plastic ones. And the number one thing that you can spend your money on on this truck to make it look a whole lot better, um, in my opinion, I think these trucks sit a little bit low when you get them stock, is a 3-2 ready lift. Now I looked this up straight from 3-2 or straight from ready lift and they are $369.95. Now of course you'll have to have that installed. All this stuff, if you don't do it yourself, I'm sure there'll be an installation fee. Um, I did not do my 3-2 ready lift myself. It was on the truck when I bought it, but it gives it a good stance, sets it right nice and gives it enough height that if you choose to, you can run 35, 12, 50, 20s on this truck as long as it's an all-terrain and I've not had any rubbing issues at all. Now, I did have to remove my front inner fender, but other than that, or front uh, mud flap, but other than that, I've not had any issues with rubbing. Now, it's really, really close, and if you went with anything other than a an all-terrain, you would definitely rub, but if you choose to run an all-terrain with a 3-2 ray lift, you can do so with a 35-12-50. Now, honorable mentions. I told you I had two, and I do have two. One of them helps you performance-wise. It almost made the list, but I don't have it on my truck yet. Um, I am thinking about installing this. I've heard a lot of people say I should. I've heard a lot of people talk about how good this is, and I jotted down a few things that they claim that they help with, and that is a pedal commander. I hear a lot of people talk about putting pedal commanders on their trucks and how great they are and how how this, that, and the other. And I've also heard of one for Jeep Wranglers. I'm definitely gonna buy one for my Jeep Wrangler. It's not a pedal commander, it's something else. Uh, I forget what it's called, but everybody raves about the pedal commanders on the truck. And what they claim is uh, faster acceleration. I've heard that from everybody. They've got a bunch of different settings and I've heard that it really does help acceleration. You don't get any lag with a truck or anything like that. It really makes that uh, accelerator pedal more responsive and uh, everybody just raves about that. Now there's something else that they claim that I don't know. I've not heard anybody really talk about this. I guess there's an economy mode on this. There is one with the company that makes one for the Jeep. So I'm assuming there's one with the pedal commander and they can claim up to 20% more fuel economy. Everybody knows that this thing needs better fuel economy. I know I bought a truck and people say, hey, you bought a full size truck. What was you expecting? I wasn't expecting a lot of fuel economy, but there are trucks that get better fuel economy. I don't want those trucks. God, don't put it in the comments, but there are trucks that get better fuel economy. Why can't mine? So this does claim that they can get 20% better fuel economy. 
I do plan on buying these one of these eventually. We'll see if that works or if their claims are valid. Uh, next, it says um, it doesn't void the warranty and in the computer, it doesn't leave any trace that's been there. I, I don't know that either. I'm, with half the stuff I've done in my truck, I've voided some of the warranty anyway. Anytime you mod something, if they can trace it back to what you did, they're going to not want to fix it. But they do say that it doesn't void the warranty and the new ones are Bluetooth capable. So you can control it from your phone if you want to. And that's the reason that Pale Commander was an honorable mention, just because I don't have enough experience with it to say uh, whether it's great or not, but I've heard people rave about this, so I do believe that it is a good product. Now, the second honorable mention that I told you I was gonna talk about is the TRD Pro skid plate. Now, it doesn't have to be the TRD Pro skid plate. It can be the RCI one, it can be any of them, but if you're a heavy off-roader, um, I don't take my truck off-road, I take my Jeep off-road, but if you're a heavy off-roader in your truck, you probably need some kind of skid plate underneath it to protect all the uh, bottom of the engine, the oil pan, you know, oil filter, stuff like that. You need all that stuff protected from rocks and stuff bouncing up and hitting it or just bouncing down on a rock and the weight of the truck busting something. So uh, a, a skid plate is, is really good if if you're a heavy off-roader or even probably a moderate off-roader, let's, let's just say moderate off-road, you could be on some rocks and slip off and still bust an oil pan or something like that, or dent one really badly where it starts leaking if it's near the plug or something. So uh, uh, a skid plate is probably a really good thing to, to invest in if you are a moderate off-roader. Uh, again, you can pick those up at Sparks Parts if you want the, the TRD Pro one or you can get the RCI one. A lot of people talk about how great the RCI one is. I don't know which one I would get. I have thought about buying one for my truck. I've just not decided which way I'm gonna go. Again, that's my top five with two honorable mentions for under $500. Uh, let me know in the comments section if I missed any. Uh, if there's anything under $500 that you would add to your truck that, um, that I didn't put on here, and maybe I just missed it. I appreciate you guys watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.